Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Definitely welcome. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys how to create, how to get some friends in Jamaica and how to ultimately try and find like genuine friends and create genuine genuine friendships down here in Jamaica. So the goal is trying to interrupt my video. <laughs> so thanks to one of my subscribers, she actually commented many months ago asking me to do a video on how to find friends in Jamaica and how to ultimately find like genuine people so you can create like genuine friendships with. So I was like, I love that idea. I'm going to do it. But the thing was, the thing why I took so long to do this video is because I wanted to find someone to do the video with like in a collab and I was like who can I do it with that recently moved to Jamaica or they don't live in Jamaica but they come down here a lot or they're just Jamaican through ethnicity, through parents, stuff like that. So I was just like Ugh. so I was like whatever let me just do the video. So let me know down below in the comment section who you guys would love to see me collab with. Let me know in the comment section. I'd love to read all them. Also you guys are gonna hear droplets because I just finished raining. It's a rainy season in Jamaica so it's raining like 24-8. So I'm trying to film videos before the rain intervals. <laughs> Water might be dropping on my face as well. If you're interested, make sure you guys stay tuned and let's get into this video because I'm so excited. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to touch up upon is how to make friends in Jamaica. I feel like it's so easy to make friends in Jamaica because I would say the average Jamaican person is so outgoing and friendly, like very extroverted. It's just a thing down here where people are just, they'll talk to you. They're willing to talk to you. Hi, bye, do you need help? Like just the other day, I was waiting to cross the street and some, some guy was like, you know what, let me help you. And he just came, he went inside the road, stopped the cars up and like walked me across the street. And he's like, have a good day. I was like, oh my gosh, thank you. And then ever since that, like whenever I see him, I say hi and it's hi bye and that's it. But it's so easy because people down here, they're very friendly and outgoing. If you agree with me, give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any like experiences on how you met certain people, let us know down below in the comment section. So that's one way you're obviously going to meet friends because the culture down here and people are like people are just friendly, they're open. People say morning to almost every person that they walk past. <laughs> Canada where? You would say where do they do that at? Like no. Now another way that people meet friends and a lot of friendship forms is obviously through social media. I've seen this happen with a lot of people. It happened with me a lot. I meet a lot of people through social media. I follow people on Instagram where I'm just like oh this girl looks so cool. I would love to be friends with her and I follow this person and then I like their stuff comment and then if we live like near each other we end up hanging out meeting and if we click after we meet in person then we hang out more than once so that's another way so try and see if you can meet some people through social media always meet people in person in public places okay always bring your friends with you or like someone that's close to you like a family member or something because I always do when I'm meeting people for the first time I'm like hey I asked one of my friends I'm like hey do you want to go hang out with blah 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 and then we just go just to be safe and another thing is like with social media just in general people put on facades and people only show the best parts of their life so take that into consideration as well don't always trust everything that you see but most often when you speak to people a lot through social media I, most often like they're there you after a while you can tell a little bit how honest people are okay so the next thing i would say is go to social events jamaica is all about being social i'm telling you going out is a thing okay in jamaica so it's really easy for you to go out to social events so tourist places workshops like day events join clubs i wouldn't really recommend parties because at parties people are intoxicated and stuff and most parties if it's not a day party like if it's like a night party I doubt people would remember but it's up to you I probably met like one one or two people at parties I wouldn't really recommend it but I would say mainly like workshops tourist places at tourist places just like people going to the tourist places not people who work there like people who go there like a lot of people are just really open they, they're wanting to talk to people they want to interact and meet new people and stuff like that so, so there's a lot of day events there's a lot of festivals that happen in the day that you can meet people and stuff like that so these are some ideas guys and another way you can meet people is obviously through other people we're going to talk about that and through um, private events so maybe like a family reunion guys I apologize for the bad next door through a gathering that your friend is keeping through just a little soiree or like a chill out that your friend is just inviting you to this is how you meet other people now we're going to talk a touch about friends that you already have or existing family members that you already have that will introduce you to other people now I share with you how you're able to find friends in Jamaica which is like really easy and I'm telling you it's really easy because people are very extroverted down here and I feel like let me know if give this video a thumbs up or comment down below your thoughts but let me know if you guys feel like down in Jamaica like the men are more are more inviting and willing to 
willing to talk to you more than females and i'm not saying that in like a sexual way or they want to be with you like no like they're more friendly and outgoing than females down here but let me know and i'm not saying all girls are like that but it, i feel like but in jamaica in general there's more men on the road than girls like i feel like girls down here they just stay in their houses that's a whole different video that i can talk about which is it's, it's something i've analyzed down here anyways way off topic let's move forward so we're gonna talk about meeting friends through other people now when it comes to you guys wanting to meet people you have to look at friends okay so usually if you have a friend currently that's decent most likely she's going to have decent friends and if you know someone who is a little bit drama filled and there are things that you don't really like in a person but you still you still you're still friends with them because just, they're just your friend you don't really too too care most likely they're going to have friends similar to them because people hang out with people who are similar to them so but not all the same not all the time because sometimes people who are that way will introduce you to someone you're just like oh i like this person and you get along with that person but like Sometimes you want to pick and choose who you would like to get friend recommendations from. <laughs> so definitely hang out with people and other people will obviously introduce you to other people. You'll basically decipher who you would like in your friend group and literally just be honest about it. And yeah, and honestly, even ask your friends and family members like, hey, do you have any friends that we can all hang out with that I can meet? And like people will be like, yeah, mommy, no, I'm very, 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 very. And people will definitely introduce you to people. Okay, here's my tip. Okay, even the girl who recommended this in the comment section of one of my videos, when she typed out this video recommendation, I could tell she was just a nice person because the way she was saying it, I'm like, I can tell you're just a nice, kind person. Like, the way she worded it and everything, I'm like, oh, this girl is just so nice and I'm definitely going to do it for her. I feel like the water is falling in my face. But here's a tip for you guys, okay? You can easily detect the users and the fakes when it comes to friendships in general. And you guys need to not ignore it and actually like actively recognize it and be like okay i know this is going to be an upcoming problem so i'm gonna have to cut this off right now so my tip is sift out the users and the fakes you guys need to learn how to say no and this is the way you're going to easily identify these people because let me tell you something in Jamaica if people want to ask for something they'll just ask you like do you have a five bills I can have do you have a do you have a grant I can have do you have a local money that I can use like people will just say it straight up but the thing is this is what the thing is and there's nothing wrong with giving let's be real but the thing is if you notice that someone is always asking you for money and when whenever you guys go out you have to be paying for everything or they're always asking you for things and then once you say no they distance themselves or they don't really want to talk to you as much as before they get upset or mad that's when you know they're just they just wanted to talk to you to use you so this is how you guys need to distance yourself from these people and cut them off once you realize this well i don't have to deal with that stuff because yes yes i'm a friendly person and nice but i do not play around with people and i know how to say no like just say no <laughs> and once you guys say no you guys will start recognizing who is genuine as your friend and who is just wants to use you to be honest and like I'm not saying like if your friend wants to borrow a shirt and stuff like that like friends as friends we all share each other's things that's different and sometimes friends help you back in different ways like so I'm not talking about that thing but there's some people who just literally ask you for money all the time or they, whenever you guys go they ha you have to be buying stuff and they're saving their money and like they go on like they don't have any money but then you see them pop, pop out a stack of money or they're going out and buying this and that and so forth so you guys need to sift out the fakes learn how to say no now if you think that saying no is rude or mean then you're the problem and no one can help you and you're going to always deal with people using you there's something within you that you need to figure out why you feel like you need to please people all the time and your life's gonna be rough so this is what the thing is you guys need to learn how to say no and you'll be okay i'm telling you guys even when it comes to genuine persons and genuine people throughout the friendship you'll start seeing it the things they do the stuff they say their actions right so learn how to be honest learn how to be blunt that's how I don't have to deal with stuff because I'm very I'm very frank like I'm very blunt I'm very honest but I'm very nice oh if you guys are liking these tips so far make sure you guys give it a thumbs up and if you guys have any more tips that you guys can add on to these tips comment them down below because a lot of people are going to be reading them and I can learn from them other people can learn from them and don't forget to subscribe because I do a lot more videos similar to this and additional tip that I have is be yourself real people Will, be, will recognize real people and be friends with real people and fake people literally draw fake people and that's just the facts of life what you give off is what you get back if you're fake you're going to have fake friends and people are going to be fake right back to you because if you're a fake person you wouldn't be with someone real because you don't you don't like honesty you don't like when people are too real because you're not like that but if you're a real person and you like honesty and stuff like that you will appreciate other people who are honest and real to you too trust me i only have real friends in my group and that's why my friendships are just like 
and people around me are just like because I swift out fake people like there's no tomorrow so you you your vibes carry back off what you get back and one thing about Jamaica I noticed that like the people down here are just brave in general like if they're gonna beg they're gonna beg if they're gonna ask they're gonna ask they're not gonna really some people really aren't gonna go around it some people do which is a whole Okay, so another tip that I would recommend you guys doing is follow me on Instagram at Anisha.Adams. <laughs> follow me on Instagram at Anisha.Adams so you guys can stay updated with real-time videos of like things that I'm currently doing in Jamaica and when I'm not posting on on YouTube here, I'm over on Instagram posting in real time so you guys can watch me there and I'm always posting like my Jamaica pictures on Instagram so you guys can definitely follow me and like my pictures and comment and comment <laughs> so I can grow on Instagram. So next tip I would have is hang out with people in your in your in your income bracket. I'm not, I'm not talking about people who hang out with people who have money and they pose like they do. I'm talking about people who actually have the money. Okay, so that's what you want to do because there's a lot of people who who know who know people who have like a higher income and they just hang out with them, but them them themselves don't really have that much money. You want to hang out with people who actually have a high high income, so you're in the same like income bracket so you don't really have to worry about people not so much I'm gonna say not so much because people no matter how much money people are making people are still teething okay let's be real and then here you'll get invited to their social events their social gatherings and there you'll meet more people within their their group okay so see you guys get my drift so that's how you guys are meeting more people you're meeting more genuine people and everything will work out perfectly fine and dandy I just want to talk about the whole income thing guys like you can find genuine and good people regardless of their income I've met some really nice and genuine people and they don't even make that much money right I just don't want people to take that in any way okay even then like there's people who, who work like you know jobs that they don't get paid a lot and they still wouldn't ask people for money because that's just not how they are and they don't view you as someone who oh you're from fire and so you know oh yeah so the next thing is that hang out with people who are similar to you if you are a dancer you come to Jamaica go hang out with other dancers and then you're gonna meet other dancers who are more high up in like dancing and dance hall and they're well known and you know and so forth if you're someone who's into photography you go hang out with other photographers in Jamaica and you'll meet other photographers who are well known and the list goes on so I hope you guys are getting my drift find what you are interested in and meet people in that field and you will meet new people the last tip is like a general friendship tip and I feel like people should just take this in general my whole entire main tip is that you should associate with people based on how they treat other people and how they treat you as well okay i don't hang out with people who are unnecessarily rude like people who are just rude for no reason like why are you just rude all the time for no reason I don't, like bye i don't hang out with people like that i don't talk to people like that and you guys should avoid people like that because that's when you have you're gonna start forming toxic relationship you yourself might even end up being toxic as well and another thing is that if you go on like you're hype and you're more than people like you're better than people i don't i don't talk to people like that either like i ew that's so unattractive i try to avoid people like that and you guys should too because that's another toxic trait that you guys need to not have in your life. <laughs> Hang out with people based on how they are as a person and how they interact with other people. I've met people where like they're nice to you and they're just so rude to other people and you're just like, well, what? Like, I don't want to be associated with you because <laughs> if people are anything, I'm exactly the same way as you. So that's literally all my tips. Yeah, so that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you guys in... Oh, I also have more videos on my channel that are Jamaican me, so I'm going to link them so you guys can watch them. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Au revoir!